So here I am standing in on my farm in France, Le Boutinard, which is in western France. There's a coast about 10 miles over that way. What am I doing? A, a Devon farmer who can't even speak French, surrounded by a load of French people, most of whom don't like the English. I bought this farm because we produce all these vegetable boxes and there comes a certain time of the year, mostly in April, May and early June, where it's really, really difficult to produce a varied interesting good quality box of vegetables because all the winter vegetables are finished all the spring planted vegetables haven't started and we've got the hungry gap right in the middle we started looking at a climatic map of europe mainly france and decided that this sort of area along the west coast just north of la rochelle would get us about six weeks earlier than devon the sunlight starts coming up in february and it starts getting warmer and and things grow, they grow faster and they're healthier. It's 250 miles by road back to um, the farm in Devon, uh, which is actually less distance than going from the east of England from the Fens, which is where so many vegetables are grown. Because it goes by truck and by ferry, I mean, comparing that to air freight, which is something that we never ever do at Riverford, many people might think, oh, well, why don't you grow it in a greenhouse in the UK? But when you do the sums, as we did with Exeter University, it's completely insane. I mean, it uses 10 times more energy to grow in heated grass in the UK than it does to grow in Spain without heat and then move them in, in a truck. So of course many people would say it was a contradiction that veg boxes all should be about local um, vegetables and so on. I would countenance that with a view that most people are total hypocrites because if you open the fridges of those people in at uh, this time of year you would find them full of Spanish vegetables. I mean what do we mean by local really? I mean uh, uh, I think for a lot of people Actually, what they kind of mean is they feel some sort of connection with where the food comes from. And, uh, you know, we are able to tell the story here. Our customers sometimes come and visit and camp on the farm. So there is that kind of connection. If you ask people for a glib answer, they'll always say that they want lo what's local and seasonal. But if what's local and seasonal is a sprouting potato, you know, a soft apple and a woody swede, then they're not going to buy it. Most people have been pretty accepting of this as a, I'd say, a, a sensible, compromise. I think if we were dogmatic about just producing local vegetables, I don't think I'd have a business. It's been sobering for me in all sorts of ways <laughs> buying this farm and I did lose an astronomical amount of money in the first um, three years. Uh, it is actually making money now but I lost money really because I just thought, you know, arrogantly I could just transfer what I'd learned in 25 years from Devon and come and show the French how to do it here. And uh, you know, the soil is very, very different. The climate is different. You have to manage it in a completely different way. Certainly around here, people are very rooted in the land and I do like that. And the staff we have are, are absolutely fantastic. I mean, they're very, very hardworking. Yes, you can't get them here on a Sunday. Yes, you can't get them here on a bank holiday. <laughs> but when they are here, you know, they, they work really hard, you know, whatever the weather. And I'm very pleased to have bought it now, actually.